We're not. Okay. Our, our audio wasn't on until I hit it. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do it. Oh, we are on. <laughs> Everybody has it. <laughs> oh, did they hear that? <laughs> Wait, how, oh, that's hilarious. How did we go? Oh, that's it must great. be when the thing runs out that. Okay, Anyways. we're live. Anyways, every I'm still time. getting this technology every, thing every down. Time. And I, I actually pride every, myself on my every time. Oh. My ad, being oh. adept at, at technology yeah. and and. 20 people are... <laughs> Did anybody actually hear that? I'm bringing, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing it up to see what the comments are. <laughs> Please tell me no, they said that just barely before... That's great. Just barely before Anyways. the mic went live. Anyways. I hope. I, I don't know, but I hope that I said it just before. Hey, Terry so, Humphreys. We haven't heard in a while. Terry Humphreys. Die. Oh, by the way, in or case you didn't know, Bianca? there's a... Bianca? Yeah. Bianca die. You are so faithful at being here every... Monday at 4.30 to see us. Thank you so much. And we do have the phone open. So if <laughs> More you... More faithful than we are. We've missed... I know. I'm so sorry. We were... Well, late. it was vacation last time. No, we did That's it last time. We did it at your house. You're right. We did. I yeah. totally forgot about yeah. that. I actually had a patient that cut, who watched it. She's like, oh, I've seen the inside of your house. I was like, That's not creepy. But okay. And then she's like, oh, I saw the video. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you saw the inside of my okay. house. The realtor let her in or something. <laughs> oh wait! Did I say realtor with too many syllables? The real tour. Real tour. Yes. Real life tour. Yes. It's because I've been eating that Santa Clarita diet. I pronounce it wrong. Oh, nice. <laughs> so we actually have a subject. Yeah. The topic of today's program is recovering from child or having improved outcomes after a childhood trauma. And uh, there's a, a little secret. There's a study, and Dr. Gwen's going to tell us about. It. it was in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The pediatrics one. Yeah. They have a, yeah, it's like jam of like, yeah, 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 okay. So, uh, yeah, let's get caught up on comments and then we'll jump into well, yeah, this everybody's week's just topic. saying hi. Um, okay, a lot of greetings. Hi. Yep. Yeah. And, and again, the phone Freeze line is open. Night. There's a phone number you can call and uh, we will take your call if you call that number. Canatonics Corner. Okay. It was glitchy. So I guess maybe they did last it. Last week or? No, I think earlier when they were trying to hear the. What we weren't supposed to be saying on air? Maybe it's still there. Oh, oh, sorry. What is that? Turn off my volume so we're not having the feedback there. <laughs> Turn down Dr. Vaughn. I gotta catch up to us. Anyways. Okay. So we do appreciate you coming and we're getting caught up with some of your comments. Yeah, we anyway. appreciate it. And this topic, you, you came across this in the journal. Um, in, in the journal. Well, well yeah, it's in, in that journal. journal. I got that. I got, got published. Like, things sent to me just about... Um, like all interesting the things studies. from fans that get sent to you also. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just send that to us. We accept fan mail. Okay. We, we, we should open fan mail on That's air. Right. We Anyways. should. Look, yeah. it's a Dutch Brothers card. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I'd accept that. I'd actually yeah. take that on the air. But oh, man. Not that I should promote that kind of <laughs> lifestyle. Um, Terry says that her uh, she's... And hasn't been here in a while because her mom passed away. She was caring oh. for her mom. So. Oh, sorry, Terry. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, April 4th. I keep trying to get it set up so my mom, who's on hospice, can watch these. Because she oh, likes seeing yeah, us. That would be good for her. Yeah. But somebody says, oh, she doesn't watch that. I mean, they're right. She doesn't. Cause unless somebody's there setting it up, she won't see it. So so there's no internet in her house. Oh. Bummer. Yeah. 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 Well, back to the study. So, yeah, I get these things mailed to me. And this one seemed interesting to me. So every once in a while, I'll click and look at, uh, look at the study and just find, try to learn more, as we are always doing. Mm. Um, usually, I learn it from curated uh, um, things that are sent to me through either my organization, like the family practice organization. But this one was just something that was sent to me through JAMA, JAMA I think. But anyways, um, there was this pediatrician who did some uh, studying, and they did about almost 10,000 kids that they followed from early uh, childhood on through uh, high school, I believe it was. And about 7,000 of them had these, um, what they called adverse childhood encounters, ACEs. Um, adverse, I think, is that kind of like, well, uh, go ahead, define. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it would be like uh, losing a parent. Um, oh, that bad. Okay. Yeah, like like pretty pretty bad childhood trauma. That's what they were referring not to. Not your older brother yeah. telling you that Child you're abuse, part of the family. Child abuse, sexual abuse. What? Not your older brother telling you you were adopted. Oh, I did that to when my, you weren't. 
my blonde brother. You did that to your brother? <laughs> no. It's okay, just so more serious blonde. than that. No, yes. More, more serious, serious than those that. things so that like, siblings do, like too. Things, yeah, not things okay. like that. Um, they were pretty serious things. Yeah, incarcerated parents, like I said earlier, okay. abuse, physical, sexual abuse. Um, okay. They even included uh, growing up with a single parent in there. They, they considered that yeah. a, a traumatic experience. So. Yeah. Um, and I, I can understand that, but yeah. but they followed these kids uh, over time, and then kind of stratified them into different groups of those who participated in team sports, and those who did not. And they found that those who participated in team sports were much less likely. I think about twenty percent uh, relative risk, uh, less likely to um, have depression or anxiety. So it's significant. Um, Interesting. Yeah. And, and it kind of makes sense. If, you, okay. if, if you've ever played team sports, there's a lot of things going on there which are positive. Um, okay. you, you have a, essentially a tribe that you're a part of toward hmm. the, where you're working toward a common goal. Um, you know, whatever the sport is, baseball, basketball, football. I don't like football for, the, for other reasons. But, but in all those sports, you know, there's a group where you're all working towards the same goal, trying to win. And through that, you do develop a lot of camaraderie, a lot of friendships um, and a lot of support. So. It's interesting you name the sports you did. I, I was thinking of other sports I didn't do that, football. that also have teams. I was a skinny rail. Um, like <laughs> I did basketball track and, baseball. and cross country. Sure, so where, those are other things. Yeah, I would think even those would qualify, even though you do um, individual events. But it you're does still help toward the team. team winning. Right. Uh, but you don't have to cooperate so much in the event itself like right. you do with the sports you were describing. Right, yeah, where you're you're actually interacting with where the, where the team really players. is the, the unit much more than sure. the individual. I, I didn't see, um, they said team sports. Now they kind of left that open. So I didn't see whether it was yeah. something like that versus a, versus a, um, cooperative yeah. sport, I guess you could call it. I don't know what you call it, but, um, maybe it's a little higher where you're actually interacting with other people where you're throwing a ball to them or, you know, passing to them. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, but, but that is an, interesting yeah, there, there's an interaction that occurs there in the, Outfield in the baseball, uh, football certainly, and uh, basketball absolutely. Sure. Where there, there's this interaction going on between the players that uh, this dependence on each other right. throughout the game continually that you just don't have with the sports that my family tends to tends to congregate toward the, the track and the cross country. And, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'd be curious to see. But, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Study. Or, or even other activities. Uh, I, I know in one introductory study or whatever <clears> this was, you can't take into account everything. But I, I wonder about kids who are in other activities. I would think they still athletic, have. If, yeah. So, so I did quote another study that that was done on adults that showed that just exercising helps out with um, with your uh, mood, with help uh, the um, incidence of depression and anxiety. Now we've known that for a while. But this study went on further and actually stratified it into sports versus just your own thing. And those with uh, who are participating in team sports as adults had an even greater uh, likelihood of not having anxiety or depression. So even in, in, it persists into adulthood. Okay. So, so that so, was kind of interesting. So you're encouraging people to have their children in these team sports where they have to learn teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork, cooperation. In addition to having a... A, a, a discipline of physical yeah absolutely fitness as yeah. an adult yes personal fitness right but or and i would actually encourage adults to play to try to get involved with their recreation district wherever they are to try to play a cooperative sport you know softball um oh, uh, they've on. even got bocce ball you know things like that um, we've got the uh, uh -oh. ticking trying to come in uh oh it's gone okay <laughs> just hearing something somewhere it's it's this cable. Um, um, so yeah, I, if you're able to, I, w I would encourage you to do that. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, and and just check out your you know local recreation district. Uh, okay. They've got all sorts of things. Now I do want to follow up with another part of your blog post from today, sure. which can be found at the link in the description. Uh, but first, I'd like to visit comments and questions from our viewers yep. who are live. So, yeah, as we were talking, a few people said... Very interactive. Um, and you can call on the phone, too. There's a phone number. Well, Laura Spurs says, I can't remember any of my childhood. Do you think it might be trauma? It may. Hmm. That is something that you can probably work out with a counselor um, yeah. to, to try to figure that out. Uh, I'm sorry, was it Carla? Laura. I'm sorry, Laura. Laura, um, you remind me of a podcast... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the 
the, the host of the show or the name of the show, but I remember the title of the individual episode was Carlos Doesn't Remember. Did I share that with you? Car yes. Carlos Doesn't Remember? I did. I, I'm trying to remember which, which one that was. The, the, Carlos Doesn't Remember. The title is referring to is something that, that happens. American Life, maybe? No, you don't okay. listen to This American Life. Um, I don't. Anyways, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I can't come up with the name of the host or, or the name of the show, but the... I Carlos Doesn't Remember was referring to a character in the story, a real character, uh, a boy named Carlos, who there were certain aspects of his childhood that he just simply didn't remember. And it was, it was the bad things, the real negative things that they would talk about. Google like knows. when he and his sister would be taken out of the home uh, by child support services or child oh. welfare. And those were the times... Revisionist he, history. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Revisionist history? Okay. Yeah, that's uh, Malcolm name? Gladwell's Malcolm Gladwell. That's podcast. the name I couldn't come up with. Malcolm Gladwell. And uh, he interviews people who worked with Carlos. I think he may actually interview Carlos, too, if I'm I not think mistaken. He does, yeah. mm -hmm. And this child, I, I love this podcast because it inspires me to try to find ways I can help, and this is what it's going to get into, uh, disadvantaged children oh, yeah. right here in our community so that they are still viable for a bright future as an adult by the time they get to the place where they need to be making the decisions. So like Carlos doesn't remember, that may be kind of what's going on with you. So you might be interested in listening to that podcast uh, and, and maybe finding some similarities with the things that Carlos doesn't remember. Um, other comments before we jump into the well, yeah, working uh, with children? Well, yeah, other people are, are kind of pointing out some of their trauma as, as children. Um, and some of these things that, you know, are kind of difficult to hear, like um, having a dad who was an alcoholic mm. or and, and that. And uh, Bianca was stating that, you know, some things um, uh, that may be my or may seem mild to some people may seem have a bigger effect to the person they're affecting. And that's absolutely true. True. On, yeah, and that's outside. why we're kind of going, what, well, what's the definition? Is it right? Yeah, it is a little vague. So these um, were things that uh, they, they, they universally would kind of be, be looked considered at and tra traumatic. Yeah. You know, everybody, if you give, give them this list, would kind of go, yeah, that, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, compared um, to some things. Yeah. But, but yeah, other things can be felt as very significant and affect them. And actually, Bianca's saying that um, as an adult, she has some anxiety and depression caused mm -hmm. by something that happened to her son when, when he was young. Oh, um, yeah. Sure. No, I understand that. Um, yeah. So that wouldn't necessarily yeah, but, be what the study was no, focusing no, on in, in but, this. That, that would be... But um, I, I'm sure if it was something traumatic to him, then, then yeah. he would fit into that category. Yeah, um, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Should we jump so, into the... Yeah, I'm just... Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, in the... Ahead blog post, you had encouraged people to get involved here because the very children that are most at risk for this are the ones that are least likely to be able to participate in right. sports that have some kind of a fee, registration fee, right. uniform yeah. cost, travel right. yeah. to games. And so those of us who are able to and are concerned about how can we help well, right in our communities, what can we do? Yeah, uh, and, and that's kind of uh, my call out uh, on the post, um, what you can do to try to help some of these kids who would most benefit. So yeah, most of these do have fees. Um, I think around 100 bucks is, is most of them because um, they have to pay for uniforms, you have to have equipment, and you know, pay for refs. umpires, refs, yeah. whatever it is. So, so there Field are some fees, fees, fees yeah. involved. Um, and for those who are um, in the situation where, you know, where it is a single mom or you know, the dad's incarcerated or something like that, their funds are probably fairly limited. Yeah. Um, so they may not have the funds to be able to participate in these sports, which now have been scientifically proven to help them. So um, my, what I state is let's help them. Well, you know, okay. Do what you can. If you are in a position where you're able to maybe support someone beyond your own kids, or if you don't have kids um, and you're a grandparent or something like that, try to find a child and, and sponsor them or, or try to make a um, scholarship or something like that where you can try to get some kids in there. And, and I think it's, it would be completely reasonable to even put some restrictions on that, 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 that was, it's for lower income individuals. Um, so, or if you okay. just know someone, I mean, yeah. Anyone who otherwise wouldn't be doing it. Right. Yeah. And I think that's the key. Absolutely. So I love yeah. that you were encouraging our viewers, if they have grandchildren, nieces, nephews, their own children, yep. or, well, that's a different situation. Helping out with somebody who isn't able to get this. Right. Encourage them to have their own children. Do, 
those type of sports Absolutely. because of the benefit. Yeah, and if you are in one of those social um, benefits, if you don't feel like you have the funds to be able to do this, call up your recreation dis- district, call up um, you know the little league, whatever it is, and ask them. You know, my child really wants to participate in this. I'd really like to do them. What do you have available for me? Yeah, ask. That, that can get them into. I'm sure there are do scholarship ask. programs available. Um, that that can help you out, or maybe a sliding scale fee. That was another yeah. thing that I I said. But 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 um, I think this is vital. I think that for our kids, this is a very important Good. thing. There there are so many benefits that come from playing team sports. That and and I was going to say, the people watching, first of all, this gets involved in their community, which we should be anyway. We should know our oh, community. Absolutely. We should be yeah. participating in community activities. Um, also. Uh, Sometimes you'll hear shouts out for a Patreon for your favorite YouTube channel or blog <laughs> or blog post. Instead of giving to that, we would tell you put that money toward kids. Sure. I, and I exactly what Dr. Agree. Gwain's talking about here. Instead of getting your name shouted out or whatever, not to shame our current. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. We appreciate Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Ann Twain. Yes. We are not shaming you. <laughs> no. Not Other not. people. <laughs> Instead of joining them and having your name, please do get involved in uh, your communities. Have children getting the benefit of these activities with team sports. Ask them, hey, do you want to play basketball? Or what's the program? Oh, Upward. Upward Sports. Upwards is, uh, better, for the younger kids has, yeah. is a great one. Um, little League. Communities have, yeah, Little League and... Um, just community yeah. basketballs and Basket, yeah, that's usually through either AAU soccer. or ARD. You didn't mention soccer. ARD here. Um, um, what's the Auburn Youth Soccer Association? AY, or yeah. AY, yeah. AY, AYSO. Yeah. I'm sorry, you don't have to give to the one in our community. <laughs> Your own community. Yes. But those of you who are in our Please. community, yeah, uh, tell them you want to sponsor a kid who isn't able to. If if you don't actually know one, if if you see children in your neighborhood, you know, or or if you don't live in a neighborhood where there's children that might be more at risk or not have the benefits, then you can ask the program to help. These are the things we are calling you to do. Yes. This is a call to action mm-hmm. on the Auburn Medical Group YouTube channel with Dr. Gwaine, the Green Knight. <laughs> yes. Okay, any other comments we should follow up? And of course, if you guys fall, call, excuse me. And, oh, we're getting a call. What? Here we go. All right. Oh, I'm putting this in. Okay, this is Mark Vaughn, and you are on the live YouTube show with Dr. Gwaine. Yes, you are. Would you like to be live on the show? Um, I was just wondering where my car is. <laughs> okay. I think I know who this is. I, I think so, too. It's here at the office. <laughs> It'll be home in half an oh. hour. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Did you I have don't... a comment or question for the show? Did you um, in sports when you were younger? Yeah, I did. Tell us about your experience playing soccer. Playing soccer? I... I played soccer for about four or five years before high school and then played freshman year of high school. Yeah. Do you feel like it uh, helped you socially? Yes, definitely. Did you have any extreme traumas growing up as a child that you think it helped you process? Um, I don't think so, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll see you uh, after the show. Okay. Your car will be delivered. <laughs> Your car will be delivered in, <laughs> Thanks for calling. in like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, uh, that didn't go exactly as I thought it would. <laughs> Whoa, big sigh of relief, though. Okay, I may have just turned this off because I dropped the controls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so with that... <laughs> Are we on? Wait. I really don't know. Are we on? Uh... Okay. Uh, I think we've been on the whole time. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Thank you for oh, the call. Unnamed caller. Unnamed who's caller. looking for his car. He's looking for his car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. By the way, his graduation was great. Okay. Any any <laughs> any, any final thoughts or comments on, um, from some our people viewers? Just commenting on some traumas they have, and, and okay, and we would just you know encourage you to to get involved in some sports or, or any um group activities. It's also a good way, um, yeah. Like we're talking about this community sense of community. It's not what the article is specifically about right. for adults that had the trauma, but we still encourage you to use that as a way to help to have a healthier lifestyle, a healthy social life, being connected relationships yes. matter. Oh, yeah. Very, okay. very much so. Uh, anybody that you want to? 
Anybody that went to shame. So, <laughs> Boo Boo Kitty, thanks for supporting the channel. If after this you want to... Well, she's she's <laughs> helping to get this message out. That's, so she that's is, right. You are putting your money at a good place. That's right, Boo Boo Kitty and, getting and the Lindsay message Antoine. You, yeah. Yes. But we appreciate the support. Yes, we do. And, and, and she, she supports good things around her community, too. I know she does because she's told me. Oh, somebody says in Canada they have groups funding so the kids can play sports if they want. Okay. Very good, Canada. Good so, job. Until next time. <laughs> I'm Dr. Wayne Bond. Dr. Mark Bond telling you to stay in good health. See ya. Bye.